I've created several projects since my universal time-lapse slider. I wanted to visit that project again and perhaps make it easier to build and make it conform to my other associated projects, the time-lapse platform, the multi-pan automated panoramic head, and most recently, the unpublished camera trap. I have modified all the projects to use my Arduino housing and shutter release servo mount. Many project parts rely on my Monoprice Select Mini 3D printer. Since 3D printers are now quite inexpensive and are available in many schools and libraries, I have used it to redesign the time-lapse slider. The new slider uses rollers with a 90 degree V to roll on a newly designed track. The track is made from a length of wood with 45 degree angles cut on each side and both edges to make a 90 degree beveled edge on which the rollers ride. The track can be any convenient length and width. You just need to adjust the timing belt to accommodate the length and adjust the width of the traveler to span the track and mount the rollers. The rollers are printed using PLA filament and have recesses to mount the bearings. The bearings are 16 millimeters by 5 millimeters by 5 millimeters. When printing the rollers, the bottom recess will require a little cleanup since printing the flat surface above the build platform doesn't print cleanly. Just use a knife or a small screwdriver to scrape the surfaces clean. Sanding the sharp edges will help get the bearings in easier, but they will still be snug. I mounted the rollers to the traveler with 1024 machine screws using nylon lock nuts on this mount, drill holes for mounting on one edge first so they can hold the traveler to position the rollers for the opposite edge. Mark those holes and drill. If adjustment is needed, just drill the holes a little larger to allow for movement. I made two rails and travelers so I could test my concept. This one is for manual movement using a movie camera. After verifying my plan, I made the time-lapse track and traveler. The time-lapse track and traveler are the same as for the manual track, except the track is longer and the tripod head is mounted off-center to allow for mounting the motor drive and Arduino housing. The ends on the time-lapse track allow quick release of the timing belt with a single slot. The belt has one fold with a bulldog clip to hold the loop. The belt is slid into the slot and the loop and clip hold it in place. The path of the belt is from the end around the drive pulley and back to an idler pulley and then to the opposite end of the track where it is fastened in the slot. The loop makes it easy to adjust the tension on the belt by increasing or decreasing the size of the loop. Once adjusted, no changes are necessary. The motor mount was printed using the 3D printer. It holds the motor and the idler pulley and mounts on the traveler. The drive mechanism is controlled by an Arduino Uno computer and a SaneSmart motor drive shield. The projects are powered by my adapter for a Makita 9.6 volt drill battery. Here is a sample from the manual video slider. And this sample is from the time lapse slider. Thank you for viewing. If you found this video interesting or useful, please subscribe to my channel.